Where do Finns really come from? For centuries, this has been one of Europe's biggest mysteries. Some say Finns are simply Northern Europeans shaped by ice and isolation. Others believe their roots go far deeper, reaching back to the mysterious peoples who once roamed the forests and tundras of ancient Eurasia. Now, for the first time DNA is giving us real answers. And what scientists have found is shocking. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to uncover the hidden truths behind Finnish DNA. And before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Do you think Finns are more European or more Siberian at their core? Tell me your answer in the comments. Around 4,000 years ago, everything began to change. From deep within the Ural Mountains, far beyond the horizon of the frozen tundra, a new wave of people began to move west. No one knows exactly why they left. Maybe they were following the herds. But what we do know is that they carried something with them. A new language, a new culture, and a new genetic signature that Europe had never seen before. These people were the ancestors of the Uralic tribes. They came in small groups, moving slowly through forests and rivers, blending in with the vastness of the north. They weren't warriors or conquerors. They were travelers, hunters, searching for new land. When they reached the Baltic and the northern forests, they met the descendants of those ancient European hunters who had lived there since the Ice Age. Two worlds collided, but not in war. They mixed and created something new. And from that meeting, the roots of the Finnish people began to take shape. Genetic studies show that these newcomers from the East carried traces of Siberian ancestry, genes that were rare in the rest of Europe. Even today, scientists can see it clearly in modern Finnish DNA. About one-fifth of the Finnish genetic makeup can be traced back to these Uralic-speaking peoples from the East. It's what makes Finns genetically unique among Europeans. Unlike almost every other language in Europe, Finnish doesn't belong to the Indo-European family. It's part of the Uralic family, related not to English or French, but to Hungarian and Estonian, and even distant languages spoken across Siberia. That's a living memory, carried in speech itself, proof that the migration from the east didn't just pass through Finland. It stayed. It became part of the people. By the time the Bronze Age began, Finland had become a crossroads between two very different worlds, the European and the Siberian. To the south and west, agriculture was spreading across Europe. Indo-European tribes brought farming, metal tools, and trade. To the north and east, the old hunter-gatherer traditions survived. Finland stood in between, neither fully east nor west, but something in between. Archaeologists have found traces of both worlds in ancient Finnish sites. Pottery styles that resemble Baltic cultures. Tools and ornaments that hint at Siberian design. Burial customs that blend both traditions. It's as if every artifact, every bone, every piece of pottery carries the fingerprints of two civilizations meeting in the forest. The people who lived here didn't see themselves as part of a bigger story, but they were writing one in the quietest way possible, by living, adapting, and blending. This mix of genes and cultures created something new, a people whose DNA still carries both the Western European legacy of ancient farmers and hunters, and the Eastern Siberian imprint of the Uralic tribes. Modern scientists call it a dual origin, but for the people themselves, it was just life. Today, if you look at Finnish DNA, that ancient story still lives inside it. About three-quarters of the Finnish genetic profile comes from ancient European hunter-gatherers and farmers, the same ancestry seen across much of Europe. But the rest, roughly a quarter, traces back to those mysterious Siberian ancestors who crossed the Urals thousands of years ago. This small percentage might sound minor, but in the genetic world, it's massive, because that eastern signal is almost unique in Europe. Neighboring Swedes, Estonians, even Russians have it, but in much smaller amounts. It's like a fingerprint, a genetic signature that sets Finland apart. When scientists look at it, they can literally see that mixture frozen in time. The genes for light skin and blue eyes from Europe, 
the endurance traits and immune adaptations from the north and east. Together, they form one of the most distinct genetic profiles in the world. That's what makes Finnish DNA so fascinating. It's both deeply European and quietly Asian at the same time. A land that preserved its past. For thousands of years, Finland's geography protected it. Thick forests, endless lakes, harsh winters, long distances between communities. All of it helped preserve the genetic and cultural mix that was born here. Where other regions saw waves of invaders and settlers, Finland remained relatively untouched. It wasn't isolation by choice, it was isolation by nature. That's why, even today, modern Finns carry such a clear trace of those ancient ancestors. By the late Bronze Age and early Iron Age, trade routes began connecting Finland to the outside world. Metals arrived, ideas spread. Yet the people here remained different. They traded with both the Baltic tribes to the south and the Sami to the north. They took what they needed from both worlds, but kept their own identity intact. When Indo-European languages like Germanic and Slavic spread across Europe, Finland stood apart, linguistically, culturally, and genetically. Every time scientists study ancient DNA from Finland, they find the same pattern repeating. A mix of Western hunter-gatherer genes, traces of early European farmers, and that enduring Siberian thread. While much of Europe saw its populations replaced again and again by new waves, Finland shows something rare. The ancient people who settled here never completely disappeared. They absorbed newcomers and adapted. For decades, scientists thought they already knew who the Finns were. They believed Finland's people were simply another northern branch of Europe, shaped by the same migrations that formed Scandinavia and the Baltics. But then came the DNA results. When researchers began sequencing ancient bones found across Finland, they noticed something unusual. The genetic markers didn't line up with the rest of Europe. There was a signal, faint but clear, that came from far to the east. At first, many dismissed it as an error, but as more samples were tested, the pattern stayed. It was undeniable. Modern Finns carried a distinct trace of ancestry that connected them to ancient Siberia. The discovery shook the scientific world because it rewrote part of the continent's story. It meant that Northern Europe wasn't shaped by one simple migration of farmers or warriors. It was shaped by something deeper, a meeting between East and West that happened thousands of years before written history. Inside Finnish DNA, scientists found ancient European lineages, the same ones seen from Ireland to Italy, but intertwined with markers that had crossed the frozen Siberian plains. One of these clues comes from the Y-DNA haplogroup known as N1C. This genetic signature is rare in Western Europe, but it's everywhere in Finland, and its roots trace back to central Siberia, thousands of kilometers away. It's a quiet reminder that the ancestors of the Finns didn't come from one place. They came from many, and their blood still carries the memory of that journey. Other traces come from mitochondrial DNA, passed down from mother to child. Those maternal lines are deeply European, showing that ancient European women mixed with incoming Uralic-speaking men. While other European populations were blended and reshaped by centuries of invasions, Finland's isolation kept this unique combination almost untouched. When geneticists compare Finland to its neighbors, they find clear contrasts. Swedes and Norwegians share similar roots, mostly European farmers and northern hunter-gatherers. Estonians are genetically close, but slightly more Western. Russians show layers of Slavic and steppe ancestry. But Finns sit apart, an island of DNA that bridges two worlds. That's why scientists call it one of the most distinct genetic profiles in Europe. But genetics is not only one way to trace history. Culture tells the same story. If you know where to listen. The Finnish language itself is a clue left by time. It doesn't belong to the Indo-European family that dominates most of Europe. It's Uralic, part of the same ancient linguistic branch that includes Estonian, Hungarian, and the distant tongues of Siberia. That means the voices that once echoed across the Ural Mountains still whisper in Finnish speech today. 
every word carries a shadow of that migration. For centuries, this language puzzled outsiders. It didn't resemble Swedish, Russian, or German. It was a survivor, a linguistic relic of an age before Europe was Europe. The Kalevala, Finland's great national epic, isn't a tale of kings and conquests. It's a story of creation, of nature, of spirits and song. It speaks of forests that breathe, of rivers with souls, of magic drawn from words and music. It's the mythology of a people who lived close to the land, who survived by knowing it, not mastering it. That spirit reaches back to the first hunters who followed the melting ice. Even in modern Finland, you can still sense it, in the silence of the lakes, the reverence for nature, the deep connection between humans and the wild. Today, science can trace every genetic branch and pinpoint every ancient migration. But what does that really mean for the people who live now? For Finland, it means that the story of who they are is far deeper than anyone once imagined. In a world obsessed with origins and labels, Finnish DNA tells a very different story. A story of connection. The genes that came from Siberia thousands of years ago don't make Finns less European. They make them more human, proof of how far our ancestors traveled. That's the quiet beauty of genetics. It doesn't divide people. It unites them. It reminds us that every nation, no matter how distant, carries traces of another. The history of Finland itself, from the first Ice Age hunters and ancient Uralic tribes to Swedish settlers and modern Europeans, every chapter has left its mark on the Finnish genetic code. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of Finland, let us know in the comments. Have you ever taken a DNA test and found Finnish ancestry? Or maybe you've always wondered about the origins of your family's blue eyes, fair skin, or northern roots. Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more history and DNA content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. Kitos ja nakamin. Goodbye for now.